Hey everyone and welcome to Storytime, my name is Jake and today we are going to look at the subreddit r slash entitled parents, where people tell us their stories of crazy mums and dads who think they're entitled just because they have kids. If you're new around here, please do hit subscribe down below so that you never miss out on another video, but for now let's sit back, relax and enjoy some reddit stories. Careless mum put child down in my soup, wants me to replace the clothes she ruined. I am sitting in the lunchroom at work eating my soup while watching Fresh Prince on my phone and some woman who I have never met before enters the lunchroom and without even looking drops their baby carrier, diaper bag and shopping bags, we work across the table from a mall, at the table where I am eating. The baby carrier catches the edge of the bowl, throwing delicious pea soup up into the air and onto the baby carrier and all over one of the shopping bags which had been set down on a chair. It was actually really impressive and I am kind of bummed that no one else saw it happen. Before the pea soup has even landed, the lady has left the lunchroom and is gone to talk to our boss. I take a look at the baby and it doesn't look like the baby got any soup on him or her and isn't burned, so my good deed for the day is done. I leave the mess, I only have 30 minutes for lunch and this woman just wasted 10 minutes of it. I'm not about to spend the rest of my lunch cleaning her mess and head out the door to grab some McDonald's across the street. Wanted to let Entitled Mother know what she did on my way out but she was in my boss's office with the doors closed and I was hungry. I get back from McDonald's with one minute to spare to get back to my desk. I get back, log in and immediately my supervisor comes over and gives me the we're not supposed to eat at our desks talk and I tell him what happened. He walks over to the lunchroom, peeks inside. He chuckles a little then turns back to me. Enjoy your lunch, he says. Once I'm about halfway through my McChicken, my supervisor tells me to go to the boss's office. So, I do. My boss and a very angry entitled mother are sitting there. My boss asks why I dumped my soup all over entitled mother's things. I didn't. Were you the one eating pea soup in the lunchroom? Yes. So, how did Entitled Mother's stuff get covered in pea soup? Well, I was sitting down eating and she walked in and dropped the baby carrier on my food while I was eating it. Soup went everywhere and I wasn't about to spend the rest of my lunch cleaning it or go the rest of the day without eating because some person I've never met is throwing babies around the lunchroom. So, I went across the street and bought another lunch. Entitled Mother gets shrill. He's lying. He did it on purpose and now all of my new clothes are ruined. He could have burned my baby. You're going to pay me back for everything you destroyed. The carrier, already covered in dry puke. The clothes, her fault. And my purse, didn't have a purse. What could I possibly gain by dumping soup on your things? You know what? Screw it. Boss, just go look under the baby carrier. What's under the baby carrier? Proof that she's lying. Entitled mother gives me the most confused look I have ever seen someone make. It was a combination of what are you talking about and why are you doing this to me? I think she actually thought I did damage her stuff on purpose and she could not believe that she could have done something so stupid. Which is funny because there has been an unsupervised infant in the lunchroom for 30 minutes now. Entitled mother chases after boss and I am following right behind them. When we get to the lunchroom, a small crowd had gathered around the baby because of that sweet natural 18 charisma and the boss asks everyone to clear out. Boss didn't even have to move the carrier. Sure enough, under the carrier, half sticking out, they find the paper towel I had put down as a placemat, the plastic utensils I had set out, the plate I had under my bowl and the baggie of saltines I had brought in from home. My boss sighs. Ah, <sighs> entitled mother, go home. What about my stuff? Ah, <sighs> take your things and go home. As it turns out, she was one of the supervisors who had been on maternity leave since before I started. She had come in because her and the boss were friends and she wanted to come by and show off all the clothes she had bought now that her figure had came back. 
she blew her entire check on clothes that are now covered in pea soup and can't be returned. She took my half a McChicken on the way out and threw it in the garbage. My boss gave me a McDonald's gift card that she keeps for rewards, most calls, best reviews, etc. And gave me an extra break to go get another McChicken. I start supervisor training next week. Glad I won't have to work under Entitled Mother. The fact that that woman took the McChicken and threw it in the bin on the way out, that just shows what kind of a person she is, doesn't it? Just because you have two kids doesn't mean you get to push in and then demand my phone. I was sat waiting for a bus to my friend's house, as I am cat sitting for her while she is on holiday. It is only 5 minutes till the bus, so I just pull my phone out and play a game. As I am waiting, a mother and her friend arrive. She sits her toddler next to me and stands with her pram talking to her friend and bouncing her baby in her arms getting it to calm down. Not an issue with that. Babies can be fussy, and her toddler was just quietly staring around. After a moment, he tugs on his mum's top, and she turns to him, and he asks to play on the phone. I'm not properly paying attention, so I assume he means his mum's phone, and don't look up. After some more chattering that I had tuned out, someone taps me on the shoulder, and I look to the mum. Could my kid play on your phone till the bus gets here? Sorry, it has my ticket on and I am also waiting for a phone call, which I was and still am. It won't be for long, he is really bored and his sister won't settle unless I bounce her, so I can't entertain him. At this point, it is two minutes to the bus and I am not giving her my phone for him to drop or get sticky. I'm sorry, it is only a few minutes till the bus and him being bored isn't my problem. You selfish witch! I hope you never have kids, you don't deserve them. Well, what luck! You hope I never have kids, and I don't want kids. How about that? Now please, leave me alone. I got a bit sassy, as my day has been very tiring so far, so I just want this encounter to be over. And when the mum doesn't reply, I am thankful it is over. Or at least I think. The bus pulls up and as I grab my bag, the mum pushes past me and others to the front of the line, including pushing past another mum with her double pram, with thankfully sleeping twins in it, causing everyone to either roll their eyes or make a comment which she ignores. I just ignore her. There are very few people on the bus and plenty of seats, so that is no issue. She isn't going to stop anyone getting on though it seems the driver isn't too happy with her and refuses to give her a ticket unless she gets to the back of the line, which has since been joined by an out of breath mum with her pushchair and three kids old enough to walk, ranging from bored looking teen to maybe 9 years oldish? I don't know how old exactly. After a bit of back and forth with the bus driver, she moves out of the way and lets everyone else on. I make sure to smile at her as I get on. When everyone else is finally on, she starts to get on, and the bus driver informs her she will have to fold her pram down, as the double pram and the other lady's pram are taking up the spaces prams go in. Her face was hilarious. If she hadn't been so impatient, she would have not had to do that, though she quietly and quickly folded it down and got on, sitting with a face of thunder whilst I'm sat here smirking like a Cheshire cat. You've got to be a special kind of rude, don't you, to try and demand someone's phone off them, like, no, that's my phone, and then push in in front of everyone, like, ugh. Oh. I'm selfish for not wanting kids. This is a story about my own mother, and how she got upset and threw a fit in a store over me making up my mind about a major life decision. So, a few days ago, I went to get some school supplies so I could be prepared for my senior year. It was tax free on school stuff over the weekend. Sue me for wanting to get ahead on buying stuff. With my mother. And we began to talk about me growing up while I was searching through one of the store's displays. She began to mention ideas of me starting a family and ending up a stay at home mum like her. But I was quick to shut her down on it. She knows I have plans to go to college to study dentistry already. As well as I calmly stated that if she did have grandkids, they would be my pets, since I have no intention of having kids. 
My sister has three kids that my mother spoils rotten, so me not having kids wouldn't leave her without grandchildren. Plus, I've been forced to help babysit said kids on numerous occasions, and each time I do leaves me stressed and annoyed, with something of mine usually broken. I got to the point that I've been put off the idea of having kids of my own completely, knowing I'm too easily annoyed by kids to ever be able to be a good mother. Still, she kept on trying to push the idea of getting married and mothering children onto me, which I had to firmly shut down and told her having kids just wasn't anywhere in my plan for my life. She broke down and started yelling at me in the store, saying she just wanted to have grandkids, and I was taking that away from her with such a selfish decision. She has three, four if you count my sister's stepson. After her episode, she went to the bathroom to calm down, and I had a few parents to younger kids giving me dirty looks for the event. A few other family members she's close to spoke to me recently, telling me how my mind would change, and that it was selfish to say my mind was fully made up. If someone doesn't want kids, that, that's their choice. It's not your choice, is it? It's, even if you're the mother of that person, it's not your choice in the end. Karen takes up too much space, yells at employee and manager. I have been waiting for a story to post here, and it finally happened. Okay, so I was at a place called iJump in Israel. If you've never been to Sky Zone, it's the same thing. If you haven't, just imagine a huge trampoline divided up into squares inside a building. The squares are not too big, and it was one person per square. So I'm jumping, minding my own business, when I see entitled mother and her seven kids, taking up about two squares. While entitled mother was trying to help one of them because he hurt his foot. He hit it on something, but it was probably just a bruise. That is important to the story, because entitled mother claimed he couldn't walk, even though he was standing up. I see an employee walking over, and I immediately think, it's karma time. Also, before I start the story, I would like to say that I don't know a lot of Hebrew, so there might be some weird grammar things. The cast, entitled mom, EM, her kid, HK, manager, M, and employee, E. Excuse me, ma'am, you are taking up a lot of space. Please move. My kid hurt his foot. I need to help him. There are kids who want to jump. Please move your kids. No, he can't walk. I can help him if you'd like. No, I will not move. Entitled mother says something I couldn't understand, but employee brings over a man in a black shirt. I assumed it was his manager or superior because the rest of the employees were wearing bright colored shirts. Entitled mother probably pulled the classic, can I speak to your manager? Ma'am, please move. You are taking up a lot of space here. Please move. My kid is hurt. He can't walk. I need to help him. We can give you some help. No. Manager then tells the kids to get up and start going towards the exit. The entitled mother turns to the kids. Don't listen to him. She points to the manager and yells something I couldn't understand. You need to move now. You are taking up a lot of space, and someone could accidentally kick one of your kids. The manager tells the kids again to get up, and they leave. Entitled mother succumbs, and she and the hurt kid leave the trampoline area. Okay, I don't know if this is really bad, but when it said Karen takes up too much space in the title, I was definitely thinking she was just going to be like really, really fat. <laughs> I feel really bad. Hey everyone, I hope you all had a really good day and that you enjoyed that video. If you want to check out some other videos, then click on screen right now or check out the playlist down below. If you enjoyed that video, then please do leave a like. And if you want to submit your own stories, then you can do so by joining the Discord in the top link in the description. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon.